Okay, well, good thing it took me a little bit to get my stuff together for today's video because the loud, very, very loud garbage trucks came by and soon after the emergency tornado siren test went off. So, um, just in time to start today's recent music listens video. First off, yesterday, I believe it's yesterday, it depends on when this video goes up, but I think it was yesterday. Dark Side of the Moon, uh, there it is. Dark Side of the Moon's uh, anniversary was yesterday. Oh gosh, the trash trucks are back. I don't know if you guys can even hear that. So, clearly Dark Side of the Moon, one of the greatest albums of all time. Total ear candy. Absolutely love Pink Floyd. And that um, is what most people consider their masterpiece. I personally like Animals a little bit more. And, uh, I don't know, it's probably... The the most of the hardcores say either the wall or dark side of the moon. But I'm an animal sky myself. Also, this lovely record, the Rush debut, is also having an anniversary or uh this week, let's say, okay? Should be more professional, know the exact year, but I'm just going to say happy birthday. Alright. I do have the box set of this on the way from Canada. So, whenever that comes, I'll obviously be doing a video about it, and you'll see more of that. Let's get to this week's listens. Found this in the bargain bin of uh, Planet Score. Booker T and the MGs, Miguel Moore Avenue. This is a very good cover record of um, Abbey Road. And what's great about it is they don't just cover it exactly the way that it is on the Beatles record. They're medleys, and they're actually very good. And um, another thing that's awesome, they did this a year after the Beatles record came out. So they heard it and decided almost immediately, we have to do this. Uh, I believe it was like six months later this came out. So pretty awesome. Booker T in the MGs. Totally worth looking for that. Next is Super Tramp. Even in the quietest moments, if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been listening to a bunch of Super Tramp on vocal on a uh, vinyl. Uh, the song most people will know from this is um, "Give a Little Bit." It's the opening track and single from the record. I think they came out with probably two more singles from this, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, really good play all the way through. Love the songwriting of this band. And um, lots of themes that come back through on this. Oof, okay. So, um, I'm not the biggest Paul uh, John Lennon fan. And certainly not a Yoko Ono fan because most of the stuff I've heard of hers is just weird, uh, like hooting and hollering over uh, weird jazz music. But anyway, I gave Double Fantasy a shot and I didn't even make it all the way through. I made it about three quarters of the way through. This is the final album they made before he passed away. Uh, was murdered. As you all know, but um, yeah, this is this album's not very good. 
I wish I had uh, more to say about it, but probably the less said, the better. A uh, double record here. I'm going to say this is Elton John's masterpiece, but uh, Funeral for a Friend is probably my favorite on this, the opener. Uh, Candle in the Wind, Benny and the Jets, both awesome. Saturday night's all right for fighting. Gosh, I'm you know those are just those are the big hits, but uh, this is chock full of great songs. Highly recommend if you've never had this. This this vinyl copy played through mostly well, but there was one track where it skipped. But I do like how every song has its own illustration with it. This was also in the bargain bin, I believe. Oh, some some uh, cool band member photos there. Love this. The picture disc single for Creeping Death. I have another copy of this somewhere. But this is the one that came with the box set that I have talked about at length. Very cool band photo there. Um, lots of vinyl heads on YouTube and stuff talk about how picture discs have worse sound quality. Uh, I have never done a side by side, but uh, as far as uh, this side, which is the creeping death side of this record, sounded really, really good. You know, people could be right that pictures just don't sound as good. I don't, and I don't even own that many, so I have a few here and there. But uh, and then the the other one, the the B sides on this are "Am I Evil" and "Bliss Creek." Those are B sides, not um, not on the album. They they may have been on later versions, so don't write and tell me that they were on the album. I don't care. But. Loved it. Glad it was put in with that box set. And finally... Oh, actually, let's do these first. Was gifted this by a friend. Uh, Three-piece. This is on New Atlantis Records. Uh, instrumental. And pretty damn good. I think this is on Bandcamp, if you want to look for that. But... Um, yeah, kind of lo-fi, um, indie rock slash, I don't know. I don't, I don't know really how to describe it, but it was good. Very talented players. Faith No More's second record, Introduce Yourself with Chuck Mosley on vocals. This is his last record with them. Really awesome listen to this the other day. Uh, let's see. Surprising. Well, Anne's song is probably still my favorite on this. But uh, Introduce Yourself. Chinese Arithmetic's always awesome. We Care A Lot. Faster Disco. I uh, used to not be a huge Chuck Mosley fan, but now... These days, he really, really grew on me, and I absolutely love everything he did. And I feel like he was a perfect fit for the band at the time. Okay, and now, finally, Dire Straits Brothers in Arms. I have a couple, few of their records now. This was pretty good. I will say, uh, this is from 1985. Uh, Tony Levin actually guests on this on a track. He seems to be on every record of the 80s. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and side note, the uh, Liquid Tension Experiment. New, new record after like 30, or no, 20 years is coming out soon. I'm super stoked for that. But uh, anyway, this record's really good. They um, started to incorporate... 
keyboard and synth a little bit and it's sort of the perfect version of combining that with blues guitar and uh ha like a half a step into prog i don't know i it's just really really tasteful guitar playing and some keyboards and um even some funky bass going on but really 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 like this record a lot dire straits brothers in arms that's it. See you tomorrow. Bye.